right, hey everybody. Welcome back to 2000 Hours of Banjo. We're at the cabin today. Thankfully, it's a nice day out here. I can actually film outside, which is nice. It gives uh, some variety and some new challenges with the sun in my face. Sometimes it's warm, sometimes it's cold. I got noises, I got dogs running around. So it was good work on still playing while there's distraction, which I'm not really good at. I get easily distracted and thrown off, but that's okay. I'm still quite far from running my own concert. Today I'm going to do a little bit different, something a little bit different. I'm going to kind of focus on the stuff that I'm, I'm currently bad at doing <laughs> and all my problem areas. At the beginning you heard, uh, will the circle be unbroken? I'm still having some problems with that one. I, I'm having some timing issues. I think that rendition that I just played now was actually pretty good. I, there was a mistake between the two repetitions of the song, but otherwise it was, it was quite a bit better than what I've been doing in practice. So I'm glad for that. Uh, some other things that I'm actually doing pretty bad on, um, that, that's a good thing and I'll get to that in a little bit, is um, going through Mike Heading's 10 ways to do backup. I'm, I'm tackling the fifth way and I, I think I showed you that previously in the last video uh, where we go, how's it go? Um, I'm still bad at, but I am so much better than I was just a week ago. So even, even that was slow and it was a little bit clumsy, I'm, I'm blown away by the improvement. Uh, this is all uh, based off a looping drill that um, my instructor uh, gave me, which was to take, my, my biggest problem is landing this big D chord. in time. Uh, so he gave me a loop to work on. And just doing that loop over and over, 20 repetitions, maybe twice during a practice every day has, has helped quite a bit. Um, so I'm looking forward to how that develops into the future and then hopefully in another week or so I will start tackling the sixth way to play backup on Mike Heading's 10 ways to play backup. The other part that I've been having trouble on in actually earlier, I think it's in the, maybe it's the third, the third way to play backup. There's this portion, um, let me see if I can find it. That right there, there's this, there's this part where it goes. And I actually, I actually played this. This is one of these times where I was hoping I would fail so you can see where I'm having trouble, but I actually, I actually pulled it off. But there's this part where I'm going from this D um, here to the E minor, where I'm jumping from, from D to E minor. And when I make that jump to E minor, I, I slip, I overshoot it or I undershoot it, and I just can't land the, the index finger, or I'm sorry, the middle finger on that fourth string. The other part, um, I think it's the, the third measure in, in that line is, is when I, again, I go from the D and I jump up to the C and landing the index finger gives me problems. 
but I, I did it pretty good at that particular time, so I'm happy about that. Uh, what other parts am I having trouble with? Well, in um, in a, a wagon wheel. doing it in this practice but or in this in this video but I'm failing in this practice it's that part where where I'm landing my um, is this a, a D I think this is a D chord anyway I'm landing the middle finger on that fourth string and I either miss it or overshoot it or undershoot it even when I do land on it my index finger is not is not landing um, appropriately on the first fret of the second string. Is that a C chord? Does that make it a C chord? I can't remember. Anyway, still working on the music theory <laughs> on that one. So how am I doing on that song? I actually haven't practiced Wagon Wheel today. I'm looping that particular section over and over to try to build up confidence in that. It's really kind of funny. I get into my head while I'm playing the song. Oh, here comes the part that I'm having trouble with. And it's almost a self-fulfilling prophecy that I screw up on that particular part of the song. As far as um, Man of Constant Sorrow, oh gosh, a, a lot of the song is still giving me fits. We have the intro. There's one right there. That happens like 50% of the time. Right there, that's another part. Now I nailed it on that time, but... Well, there's one too. I will hit that first string like 70% of the time. So looping this. Is a big part of my practice when I'm practicing um, a Man of Constant Sorrow. Anyway, so those are the big ones that I'm having problems with. Is there anything else? Um, a lot of the other stuff is going pretty smoothly, actually, and I'm building on a lot of the techniques. I'm trying to add a little bit of polish and add a little bit of speed to how I'm playing. Sorry, I'm strumming. I'm strumming. <laughs> when this is in my hands, I can't help but pluck the strings. Anyway, so that's where I'm at now. Uh, I think we're at 200 and, I'm sorry, 300 and, 350 something hours at this point. Point, maybe 356 hours, 355 hours. That means next week we're going to be at 365, which is going to be a huge, huge milestone. 365 hours, which is the amount of hours I would have completed had I continued to play every single hour of last year and didn't get that, that finger injury. So huge milestone next week. Looking forward to it. Hope you guys tune in. I'll see you next time. I've got some practice to do. All right. Bye.